Okay, we are saying now the example to find out the inverse by partial new method. So example is that find out the inverse of this matrix, which is a 3 by 3 matrix, and we have to find out the inverse by the partial new method. So our job is to partition the given matrix into the four parts. P, Q, R, S. So one thing that you have to remember, whenever you partition, the P matrix should be a square matrix. Okay? So here I am taking this one by one as a square matrix of P because we have to find out it is inverse of that matrix. So that's why we take a square matrix and this should be a non-singular angles. Non-singular angles, the element should not be inverse to C. Okay? Because if I partition this way, okay, so that will be 1, 3, 3, 4 will be our P. But if I calculate the determinant, that means p minus 3 is coming out to be the 0. Therefore, the partition is completely wrong. So, we have changed the partition here and then we have taken this 1 by 1 matrix as a p. So, it should be a square matrix p and it should be a, a non singular as well. So, that is the condition. Uh, so, we just take this as a p, it is q, r and it is s. So, we find out here first of all the p inverse and the inverse of 1 is it is 1. It is simple. If we take a 2 by 2 matrix, so we find out the inverse by adjoint method. And what is that uh, formula of adjoint? It is 1 upon determinant of P and adjoint of P. That we can get. Now after that, getting this PQRS and the P inverse, our process started to find out the inverse of a matrix. That is first of all, we find out that it is T. T is nothing but the multiplication of the two matrices, R into P inverse. R we are already having. R is this quantity, that is column matrix 1, 1. We put it here, column matrix 1, 1. P inverse just we have evaluated. It is 1 here. Now take a multiplication of this two, and we know that if identity matrix multiplied to any matrix, we have a same matrix multiplication. So that is 1, 1. Okay? And after that we find out W. It is the S minus T Q inverse. As we know, because we have partitioned that S is a 2 by 2 matrix, P 4, 4, 3. P just we have calculated. It is 1, 1. And this 3, 3 is the Q. Which is again there from the partition 3, 3. Now this is the matrix of the order 2 by 1. This is the matrix of the order 1 by 2. So new matrix is having the order 2 by 2. Because this 1 minus with this 1. Multiplication is possible. And we are having the new matrix of the order 2 by 2. That we are having here. Just take a multiplication. Row versus column. This is 1 into 3. The first element. 1 into 3. Second element. Then this 1 into 3. Third element. 1 into 3. Fourth element. Now both the matrix are in the same order. Now we do the subtraction. 3 minus 3 it is 0. 4 minus 3 it is 1. 4 minus 3 it is 1 and 3 minus 3 is 0. Inverse of this matrix now it is a 2 by 2 matrix. We calculate by adjoint method. So inverse for this will be the determinant of this matrix into its adjoint. So determinant will be this 0 into 0, 1 into 1. So that is minus 1. And after that for this uh, for getting the adjoint, what we do? Just interchanging this row, this column. Uh, sorry, this is the diagonal. Interchanging the diagonal and changing the sign of non-diagonal. It is minus one and minus one. This gives the adjoint multiplied by the minus one. So we'll have zero, one, and one zero. It is a W. W we are having in the inverse. We are having the inverse formula as it is x, y, z, W. So W we have found here. Three things are remaining. Now then, z equals to minus W T. This we calculate. So the previous thing we always require. Okay. Because this time we have to calculate the W by use of W P R me. Yeah, we use of that that is in Z. So likewise, if you have to calculation for our part, then some of the calculation will be proper. Then this is Z equals to minus W into T. We calculate. So W is what? This 0, 1, 1, 0. Put it here. This T already calculated. It is 1, 1. Now take a multiplication. This is the matrix of the order 2 by 2, it is of the order 2 by 1. So, now matrix for the record 2 by 1. Row versus column multiplication can set there. This row to this column is the first element 0 into 1, 1 into 1. This is 0 plus 1. Then 0, uh, 1 into 1 plus 0 into 1. This is the second element that is 1, 1. Already we are having a minus outside. So, minus multiplied here to each element of the matrix. So, minus 1 into minus 1. The z we have got. Y is having the formula minus P inverse QW. So minus P inverse is 1. Q partitions in the Y, the second matrix, and W just we have calculated. And that is W0110. Okay. So identity matrix multiplied with any matrix, 
you will have a same matrix. Then take a multiplication of these two. It is of the order one by two. It is of the order two by two. Now matrix order one by two. Okay. Now take a multiplication of this row with the column. It is three into zero, zero plus three into one, one zero plus three, zero. Okay. Then this row multiplied with the column three into one plus three into zero. That is three plus zero. We are having three three minus multiplied here to each element minus three minus three. X is having the formula minus this P was minus Y T. Just put it here P was Y T. Take a multiplication. Okay. We have this quantity. Just take a subtraction. Then we are having X it is just a seven of the order one by one. It's just a formula. Put it here. Just do the multiplication. And after getting this one, we are having the formula for the inverse as uh, X Y Z W. Okay, this we write down. So x we have got as seven, so that we have written here. Y, y we are having as this one minus three minus three is a row matrix. So I write this into the row minus three and minus three. Then we are having z. Z is nothing but we are having it is column matrix minus one and minus one. So I have written this as minus one and minus one. And w is a two by two matrix that is zero one one zero. Let's put it here as it is. So this is the required inverse. So this way we. Find out the inverse of a matrix by partitioning method. Set of formulae will be there. You have to just use that formulae to uh, and, uh, find out the multiplication. Then you will have an answer. That is inverse answer by that partitioning method. And now we can verify the answer whether it is correct or not. So, we have multiplication kiya hua yahan pe a into a inverse. So, a we are having into a inverse. Just take a multiplication. We got here one zero zero one zero one zero 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 one. That is the identity matrix. So, we are getting this identity matrix. That means our inverse is correct. Okay. Similarly, we can get a inverse into a. And by definition, if a into a inverse, a inverse a, it is i. Then we are having this the required inverse. So, okay. So verification. If it is asked, then you have to do. If it is not asked, then this is your answer. Clear? So this way we solve the example. Uh, that we find out the inverse of the matrix by.